Uh, Jason, what's taken place last night? Uh, look, Alexia, we're investigating the um, attempted armed robbery which occurred at a service station here in, uh, in Cobram. Um, it happened at about uh, 5 to 7 last night. Um, in particular, we're, we're looking at a person um, who we believe attended uh, the service station earlier in the day. Uh, and particularly we're after the public's assistance because the, uh, the person has, who attended earlier in the day is wearing different clothes to the person who attended and committed the offence. Um, for that reason, uh, we, we are seeking the public's assistance to try and identify or locate um, some particular items of clothing which are outstanding in the investigation. We have a uh, red or faded red to pink coloured baseball cap a long sleeve black t-shirt which has a distinctive uh, white pattern which runs vertically down the front of the t-shirt, um, a grey hooded top and uh, a, a black sort of puffy uh, style coat and also the weapon which was used was a uh, black handled kitchen knife. Um, those items are still outstanding in our investigation. Um, we ask that the public be vigilant uh, in their front yards or public places for these items of clothing. They may have already seen them and not taken any notice. Uh, if those items um, are found, we ask that the public be um, aware that the, the items may have some blood on them um, and not to handle those items, but instead call Triple O and uh, we'll make uh, arrangements to attend and collect them promptly. Uh, during the process of the armed robbery, the, uh, the attendant of the service station has, uh, has reacted uh, and armed himself with an impromptu weapon and fended off the, uh, the would-be attacker. What was the impromptu weapon? Uh, a wooden baton. There is a disguise involved. Um, a, uh, a balaclava was worn by the, um, by the offender at the time and uh, that balaclava we now have in our possession, so that's not something that we're looking for. Um, but we do believe the offender was a male. What did the offender actually want to steal from the service station? Don't know that he actually got to that, Tammy. It was a, um, yeah, I think the, the knife was apparently seen by the attendant and who reacted very quickly, so I don't, it was a, a very quick uh, offence. Okay. So there's no actual call out for assistance from the community or what, what, what's your message to the community? Yeah, only that we are at this stage looking for those particular items of clothing and of course um, any person who may have information uh, in relation to the uh, to the offence, someone may have witnessed it, a person going to or from the service station um, that fits the description that I've just given you. Um, those people are asked to contact the Cobram Police Station direct or Crime Stoppers. How did the offender arrive and leave the scene? On foot. And how was the balaclava recovered? Uh, it was recovered uh, nearby. Just uh, during a routine search, the balaclava was discovered nearby.